If you'd like to learn how to draw a bear that really looks like a bear, furry lines and all, then watch how easy this one is to do. I'm happy to share some tips on how to get your very best results. Hi, I'm Kathy. I'm an art teacher and I've been teaching kids how to draw for more than 20 years. You know, if you go grab a pencil and some paper, we can draw this bear together. A quick note before we start. I like to draw with center pencil guidelines on my paper. They really help me draw big. I'm also using a step-by-step -step tutorial, which you can download for free from my website with the link below. Step number one. Let's start this bear drawing with the head, which is basically a round circle that goes here. If we make some marks first on the top and bottom, it will help make sure that we're not drawing this circle too small or too large. Place your pencil on the top mark. Lightly draw a half circle down, ending at the bottom. When you're done, go back to the top and lightly draw a half circle on the right. It's important that the lines are light as some of the circle is gonna be raised in a moment. Step number two, this is easy, adding two ears to the top of the bear's head. Draw one on one side, and then a matching one on the other. Work lightly here too, as some of these lines will also be erased soon. Now the body is added to the left of the head, and it's a long, round shape. I think it's helpful to make some marks for where it starts, and how far it goes to the left, and how wide it is. When you're done making those marks, Lightly connect them with one smooth line. This line also needs to be light because we're going to erase a bit of it in a moment. Step number three. Now come the legs and we can start with this back one. Place your pencil on the rear end and lightly draw a curve down and angle back and then add the round foot shape. Continue in a line that goes up and curves into the body a little bit. That front leg comes next and extends into the body a little bit also. Place your pencil in about the middle of the body, lightly draw a line down, add the foot shape at the bottom, and continue back up into the body like I'm doing here. When you're done, erase those body lines inside both legs. Step number four, it's time to draw the other front leg, which has the same shape as the previous one. Start with your pencil on the bear's body, draw the front side of the leg, then the back side, and finish with the foot at the bottom. The other back leg is added now. It has the same shape as the front. It's just a little wider at the top. Step number five. It's time to add the eyes, nose, and mouth. The eyes are just two small circles. The nose is an oval with two small circles inside. And the mouth is made with two simple lines like this. Step number six. Now is the fun part of adding some fur lines to our bear. We can start by adding them on the sides of the ears. Oh, and I did almost forget about those inside ear lines. Also, draw some fuzzy lines on the side of the head and maybe a bigger one inside the body as well. Before we go any further, we need to erase the smooth lines that are next to the furry ones. It does take some careful erasing, but you'll see your bear immediately start to look furrier. Next, some of those fuzzy lines are gonna be added to the front legs too. Try to make the zigzag lines small and pointing down if you can. When you're done, add a fuzzy line to the rear end too. Step number seven. When you're done, carefully erase the smooth lines here too. We want it to look like those smooth lines turn into fuzzy ones every once in a while, but that they are all connected. Step number eight. The only thing our bear needs now are some claws. They can just be long skinny triangles and you can add two or three at the end of each foot. The last part of the drawing is to add a horizon line and maybe a scalloped line for simple trees or something in the background. Feel free to add more details though, there's a lot of space around this bear if you have some ideas. Step number nine. Okay, the drawing is done, so it's time to trace all of those pencil lines with a black marker 
so we can see all those details that we've drawn. As always, when the tracing is done, take a minute to erase any extra pencil lines that might still be showing. All right, now it is coloring time. I'm gonna start by filling in those eyes and the nose with my black marker. This bear is gonna be brown, but you could certainly color yours black too, or even brown and black. You know, layering crayon colors can create a really cool look too. I think I'd like my grass to be a medium shade of green. And those distant trees are gonna be a light yellow green. Finally, a bright blue for the sky. And here is my finished drawing of a bear. It is looking pretty furry too, don't you think? At Art Projects for Kids, you'll find hundreds more art lessons, which over the years have helped millions of kids learn how to draw. There's one for how to draw an elephant and how to draw a butterfly. I hope you try them out too. See you next time.